Welcome to another Libib Pro tutorial. Today we are going over managing additional fields in Libib Pro. So I have the website open. I am in my account ready to rock and roll. So I'm in my library. I'm going to go down on the left side to settings. And when I click settings, it's going to open up a new page where we have settings and then we want to be under the collections tab. We're gonna go down to the third option, which is manage additional fields. We're gonna click that and it's gonna drop down some information for us. Up to four additional fields per item type can be added. Caution though, removing a field will delete all item data for that field. So I can add different types, um, book, movie, music, and video game. As you can see with book, I have my URL and with video games, I have nothing. I'm gonna go back to book because I would like to add more field names. Right now I have URL. I can go and click this little lock. So I can edit or delete this field. Removing all text and updating will delete this field for all items. Deleting cannot be undone. I can edit that, but if I wanted to delete it completely, I would just delete, um, but I don't wanna delete that, so URL. I also would like to put in a format because I want to keep track of my books in their format, whether that be softback, hardback, ebook, audiobook, all that fun jazz. Some other options for field names could be AR or accelerated reader or internal IDs separate from the call number, but today we're just putting in URL and format. To update these fields and save that, I'm gonna click the blue update fields button. Fields updated successfully. Yay! So we're gonna go back to our library. Now that I'm in my library, I'm going to edit the book again, but better. So I've clicked the book. I'm gonna go up to the edit tab and we have edit item. There's the item tab, but we wanna be an additional field. So we're gonna click that. This gives us the option to insert a URL. Um, with these additional fields, there's a max of 50 characters or a URL. So the URL is super popular if you want to add your video review or um, where you've purchased the book, etc. cetera. Um, today, I'm just gonna add in the format and this is a hardback book in my collection. When I'm done adding in all my additional fields, I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the screen. There is a blue save button and I'm gonna hit save. And my item has been edited successfully. Yay! Where I can see the updated information is underneath like the title, author, and a bunch of other information. We have format, which is hardback right here. And that will display right here for your item. Thank you for coming to today's Manage Additional Fields video.